Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Today we will speak about how we can inspect the Derek. First we will sp speak about the Derek checklist. When was the last category 4 Derek inspection performed as per ABI RB4G section 5.1? Number 2. What is the load rating of the Derek according to the ABI RB4G section 15.7? Is there an inspection program in place? A check for bent or damaged beams and cross members according to ABI 4G section 3. Inspect NDT inspections report for the finger port. Verify that fingers are fitted with acceptable safety chains or slings or wire rope. Ensure that the air hoist cables are not wrapping against any beams or fingers. Make sure load carrying wires are fitted using shakers and bad eyes not slung across beams. Confirm that the illuminations in the derrick leaves no dark spots. Ensure that all light fittings have secondary retention is there a dropped objects procedures in place is there an inspection program for the reading line this is for the land rigs how many raising lowering cycles are performing between changes according to the api rp 4 g section 4 is the Derek man correctly secured against falling when working on the monkey port? Check the mechanical conditions of the genuine escape and escape line. Check the conditions of the Derek ladders and platform self-closing barriers, handrails, and back scratchers according to the ABI RB54 section 9.3.15. Are suitable toy borders installed according to the ABI 54 section 9.3.19? Check the conditions of the um, uh, or you can review this, the certifications and check the conditions of the traveling book hang of lines and shakers as per ABI RB. Uh, 9p Are wooden pimper plugs covered with a heavy duty wire mesh as per the ABI uh, RB 54 section 9.2.16 are all uh, hang platforms in the direct secured with a safety chains hmm. Ensure that the snatch plug safety wires have a safe working loop which is at least uh, twice as a safe working load of the heaviest wire dynamic impact. This is the uh, summary of the uh, checklist uh, which we must follow when we inspect the derrick. Thank you very much. In these slides, damage to any of the main members of the derrick could affect the actual load rating of the derrick. In these slides, direct inspections would have revealed the extent of corrosion and it could have been cleaned and painted before it got too bad. In these slides, direct inspections would have revealed that some bolts were loose and they could have been tightened. In this slide, a check for any corrosion that may affect the load that may affect the load rating. 
In these pictures, the corrosion can be found throughout the derrick here in, on the one of the finger. In these pictures, if you do not make sure water drains from the beams, you might end up with an expensive repair. In this picture, unplug the drain holes or you end up with this. Unplugging drain holes costs nothing. Replacing beams costs a lot more. In these pictures, we found wire slings installed over the sharp edges of the direct beam, which is unacceptable. In these pictures, we can note that how the wire rope is becoming damaged when it is wrapped around the sharp corner of the direct beam. In these pictures, we can see paint and deformed cross member in the derrick. In this picture, finger port at the monkey port level, none of these fingers were secured with an additional safety sling or chain. Each of these unsecured fingers represents a serious drop object's hazard. In this picture, finger port cracked and insufficiently secured with a safety chain. During one of our surveys, the NDT inspectors found no less than 18 cracks on this finger pole. More secure method of fitting safety chains to fingers. Note, the chains must not be welded. Smash it wooden pimper prop. No heavy duty wire mesh installed. Once again, a serious dropped object hazard. Severely damaged wooden pimper blocks, but thanks to the heavy duty wire mesh, the wooden splinters did not fall into rake floor. Rubber crush blocks, which seldom splinter and do not require heavy duty wire mesh protection, however, they can become hard in extremely cold weather area and are unsuitable to desert conditions where excessive heat and extreme sunlight exposure can cause the rubber to crack as well. Hey there! subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone